Bless. Good. Hold on. No, I'm recording. <laughs> Bless. Good with y'all, man. Welcome back. Today, I got a poll alternative for y'all that comes stuck with FL. And I've just found about now. But everybody thinking it's Petra or some sort of Petra instance. No, it's not. The plugin is called. Oh. And just like portal, it granulates your loop or the things you feed it with. And I'm gonna show y'all a bunch of ways to use this plugin for your samples. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So this is the plugin right here. And the reason I didn't know about this plugin is because you actually have to open it in your channel rack. So it's not an effect plugin, even though it affects your sample. And it's kind of weird, but honestly, it's even better like that because it got some crazy control I'm gonna get to. But first of all, let's look at this main interface. As you can see up here, we have some controls on how big the grains are, how often they play, like the spacing between them, just like a lot of basic granular options. If I don't know what granulizing a sound is, it's basically taking a lot of very, very small parts of your sample and then playing them in different ways. In different ways. Man, get up, boy. Down here, we have some effects and just a bunch of other basic controls down here. And how you use this granulizer is you just drag in your melody, more something simple. This is the original sample right here. And then just put one note in your pattern so it plays when you hit play. And this is how it sounds like already. You already flipped in a crazy ass way, I'm not gonna lie. Let's just play around with some settings. Maybe make it start at a different point. Now we got a more choppy, weird kind of sample. But in this case, for like using the granulizer on a normal sample, not like on a texture or nothing, I will go for a more normal sound, I guess. So something like this. And as y'all already heard, it just flips it in a crazy way already. But now we're gonna get to the secret settings of this plugin because if you click the settings tab right here, you will actually have a lot more options. First thing is this pitch section. You can just pitch the sample up also, like turn the volume down. <laughs> Now some of y'all probably realize that there's a lot of reverb on this. I just realized I had reverb on there. Bruh. Good. If you don't put reverb on it, it just sounds way too dry. Like if you use fruity granulizer, putting a reverb is just a must. Like if I turn the reverb off, it still sounds cool, but, but I'm gonna turn the reverb off just so y'all can hear what this plugin actually sounds like. Now next, we just have our normal sample controls. You can, for example, just reverse everything here. Like stretch it. Now that doesn't work, but these pre-computed effects do work though. For example, you can use this reverb right here and some stereo delay, which is also a very cool effect. Now, if you want to get really crazy with it, I use this pogo right here. A lot of people don't know about this. It's basically a weird tape stop effect. And because this randomized knob is pretty high up, it doesn't even make sense. Like it's not even doing what it's supposed to do. It's just creating crazy sounds. Now just use these pre-computed effects if you want to. But, and that's really the craziest part about this. You have this envelope control right here. Normally, if you open up a sample, you don't have the envelope control. But in this case, it's hella cool that you actually have that envelope control so you can even shape the sound further. Play with the attack, the case of staying release. Now another cool thing is this Mod X filter right here. You can select low pass, band pass, high pass, all these different filter types. This upper knob is the filter and this right here is the resonance. And you can even change the pitch right here. Add some reverb. Okay, yeah. 
And now you got yourself some crazy, like some crazy flip of the original sample. Just play around. You even got an arpeggiator like. <laughs> like what is even happening at this point? What the fuck is you can even add your chords right here. Like at first glance, you just have these simple controls right here. But if you dig deep, you can actually just play around with a lot of stuff. It's obviously pretty different than Portal, but if you play around with it, you can make some crazy textures and just some crazy things to add in the background of your samples. A lot of people might have opened this, saw these few controls right here and didn't think much of it. But if you utilize all these controls, you can really come up with some crazy stuff. What I really like to use this plugin on is is textures so let me drag a texture in add some reverb again maybe reverse it put this on percent filter it maybe add some reverb I mean that's just a hella cool texture we had this and turned it into this Yeah, hope y'all like this video. Hope y'all didn't know about this plugin, or at least not what this plugin is capable of. If I put y'all onto this plugin, like and subscribe right now, and turn on notifications so y'all don't miss crazy gems like this. Check out my newest analog lab bank, Augmented One, that comes with 40 augmented grand piano presets, which is a new Arturia plugin that comes with analog lab. So it has very unique, crazy, never heard before presets, like for real. Check out the preview right here. Also comes with a lot of mixer presets, any percussion loops, accents, textures, all that. Make sure to go ahead and open FL right now. Try out this plugin because it literally comes with FL and make some crazy samples and textures with it. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'm out.